everyone welcome back my youtube channel sales person this is rohit and today i'm going to show you the latest or we can say that the best tool in salesforce that is called devops center in salesforce so this tool is generally available so you can install it and use it without any third party software there are so many steps so you have to follow it and you can process so let's get started without any further delay so here just you have to do one thing uh, in my case I'm using git so this is DevOps Center Salesforce DevOps Center supported git right now in future maybe uh, supported by you know uh, GitLab and all the, the uh, Azure DevOps any source control system right so version control system so here in my case I'm using git and uh, you have to use uh, you know let's say one sandbox right one sandbox and if you don't have any sandbox so you can create your scratch org and treat it as a sandbox and after that you have to use another environment that is called UAT UAT here right after that you have to use another one that is called prod and uh, if you don't have any prod or UAT so you can use your free developer account so that will be the work okay so here you can see the prod so in my case I'm using scratch org as a sandbox and uh, I want to show you how to move your metadata from uh, this sandbox to UAT environment and UAT to prod environment this kind of uh, you know pipelines I will show you so before that you have to prepare this kind of things so now let me show you the prerequisite so under this environment so this is the DevOps environment here so how to install it let me show you just click on this setup button and this is the generally available so you can install it and use it so under the quick find you have to search here that is called DevOps Center this one just click on this DevOps Center and once you clicked on this DevOps Center you have to enable it I already enable and then click on this install package so once you install it so you will be see this install package under the installed packages right so now you can see under the install packages DevOps Center and under this DevOps Center just click on this DevOps Center you can see lots of component inside the inside it and uh, based on your requirement you can use it otherwise uh, uh, also you have to do some permission set so permission if you search here that is called user right so I give as a system administrator as a user of you know like this this Rohit as a user here under this user have lots of permission set so let me show you the permission set so you have to assign these five permission set of this user otherwise you will not get this kind of yeah uh, this kind of configuration in your org so now here please keep in your mind this five very most important if you are using uh, that is called DevOps Center in Salesforce so this is five permission set you have to give your user as a system admin or any kind of user as you have so this is the permission set so you have to assign this permission set permission set that particular user so once you done these things now you have to open your DevOps Center so how to open the DevOps Center very simple just click on this uh, app launcher and just search here DevOps Center right so just click on this DevOps Center here and once you open it now you can see DevOps Center screen so I already created new project you can create your new project with the help of this new button let me show you my existing project so here you can see this is the project here and once you created this all kind of you know project just you have to configure your pipeline first of all right so how to configure pipeline very simple so just here under the environment tab you have to add your development environment so in my case I'm using uh, scratch org so you can see dev dev 01 as a scratch org and UAT you can see this is the UAT environment and this is the production environment so that is called this is the pipeline I already configured you can configure like this and you can use it and also you have to connect your git first of all right so under here stages we have lots of you know work item UAT production I will show you later on 
so once you've done this kind of configuration so how to use this uh, DevOps center in our project right so for now let me create a LWC component and once you created this LWC component so how to deploy uh, this LWC component from uh, uh, this sandbox to UAT and UAT to production right so how to do that let me show you so under my VS code let me create one LWC component so control shift P you can create LWC component like this and this time let me show you the first COMP right so here you can see my component is created now let me add some uh, markup if you want to add some markup well and good otherwise leave it as it is so based on your requirement so you can do that so LWC I'm using let's say um, card so this is the card let me save it and uh, let me deploy this component into my you know uh, scratch home so here so now you will be see some deployment process okay so once you deploy this component you will be see this uh, this component inside your scratch out that is called sandboxes now you can see successfully deployed this component so, and uh, let me open this you know this component inside my you know scratch out so you will be see these things so for now just focus on that one so here I already created one LWC component so before that you have to create like new work item because this is the user story or it can be coming from your Azure DevOps or Jira based on your manager assign these tickets right so let's say create a LWC fast fast demo component something like that right and you have to assign that uh, particular user uh, user story that uh, uh, we have lots of user user here okay so in my case I mean uh, I'm a system administra administrator because I already assigned this permission to this user so that's why you can see this uh, user here just click on this save button once you create this work item right so now you can see work item 6 right so it's a new you can see the status is a new right so just click on this work item here and uh, please focus on that one there are so many steps new in progress review ready to promote promoted and close so we have to follow each and every step you cannot skip any kind of step from here right so once your manager assign or your team leader assign this ticket now you have to check like which environment we have to work so in my case I'm using dev01 means this is a scratch org or sandbox you can use it if you have sandbox well and good otherwise you can use scratch org so just select this scratch org click on this process and once you click on this process it's the automatic created the branch in your git because we already configured the git now you can see uh, this branch right so how to show this branch so under here let me show you this branch here right so under here this is the temporary branch okay here you can see it's w1006 this is a work item branch so once you click on this work item branch you can see uh, the folder structure and everything right so under here now you can see this first demo component you have to pull your changes from your own so I already connected right this org my from my scratch org or sandboxes so let me click on this pull changes and once you click on this pull changes so you will be see like first COMP so just select your component that is called lightning component and uh, click on this comments so let's say created new first com component something like that right and once you've done your comment just click on this commit changes and it's automatically uh, some processing will be going on here you can see behind the scene and uh, here you can see like beginning github comments and it's automatic comments into your github account that particular you know branch so after some time you will be see this you know pushing the changes everything you can see commit successfully done and come to the here now under this one work item just click on this one and now you can see my component is available here under the you know git first comp html js and uh, metadata file you can see each and every source here right so 
in uh, work item 0006 uh, this component is available once you done this in progress things now you have to create your review because you have to assign this component or this code to your su uh, super uh, manager or maybe team leader right because for, for review purpose so if you want to see your changes so just click on this view changes and click on this file changes now you can see three files is added here right so for now let me close it uh, once you've done your changes and verify and uh, it's a code quality everything is okay then click on this ready to promote right so now here you can see it's a automatic going on here to here right so uh, right now we are on this stage that is called ready to promote so just click on this pipeline once you click on this pipeline you can see work item 00006 right create a lwc first component so for now our component inside in our sandboxes now i want to move this component inside next or that is called uat so let me open my uat environment first so now you can see here this is the uat and let me search under the setup right under the setup you have to search lightning once you search this lightning just click on this lightning component this is the uat environment right so here under the lightning you cannot see any kind of like first comp right because it's not deployed so how to deploy it let me show you so once you've done this you know work item everything just ch check this checkbox and click on this promote to promote select it just click on this pro prompt selected and now here you can see uh, just choose this all metadata into the that particular branch and click on this promote button and once you click on this promote button it's automatic comes under the UAT so some process is going on behind the scene after some time you will be see like uh, uh, checking branch merging branch from you know uh, sandboxes to UAT internally here you can see so once you've done it so here you can see pushing the component inside this one after some time you can see promotion successful means our sandboxes changes coming here already came here under the UAT branch or UAT we can say that environment how to check it so just click on this UAT environment just refresh it and now you will be see this first comp now you can see this is a first comp right so it, it's coming here now UAT environment now it's time to move this UAT to production so let me show you the production environment so under uh, setup you cannot see this first component under the production because it's not deployed for verification purpose let me show you this one right so under lightning component just click on this lightning component and here you cannot see any kind of you know first comp here why because it's not deployed yet so how to deploy it just uh, from UAT to production just click on this promote as work item bundle just click on this one and all metadata changes I need and version you can give any version let's say 1.0 1.0.1 something like that click on this promote and once you've done it so some process will be going on behind the scene you can see promoting UAT checking branch main and deploying metadata you can see this three processes going on and after some time you will be see the su successfully message and here now you can see promotion successfully and once you've done it now you have to check your production environment uh, this component will available or not so just refresh it and here under the production environment you can see like first comp right also you can verify from here as well under the SFDC project under the main branch now you can see it's automatic comes here because it's an automatic merge from you know w, wi006 to uat uat to main it's automatic merge and now you can see under this one let me click on this one now you can see three files and three changes and under the production also you can see the first component and let me show you the final output of this one once you've done it like uh, from uh, sandbox to uat uat to production just click on this you know environments and I already shown, 
So when you use these things, this is the pipelines activity history. You can see the activity history like this one, right? Click on this work item, and my work item is W. W I 0006 and it's a close just click on this WWI and now you can see the each and every path is completed now here finally you can see the closed right so this is how you can follow the best practice of the DevOps and this is a native tools under the Salesforce platform and you can use it and you can take some benefit from the Salesforce side so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video Please share, like, share and comments and please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates and till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching.